Hello everyone and welcome to another Tales of Crestoria video with me, Azahel. Today uh, we are going to be taking a look at the new units coming up. Uh, we had Suzu and Genus announced. I'm super excited because one of them is finally not a sword or arts unit. So I am way excited for this. Um, before we get into it, just a couple announcements. Uh, I'm hoping to set up a stream for the Transcendent Battle, the new Mythos Transcendent Battle, uh, upcoming on either Monday or Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, in regards to my character guide videos, I still have no idea when I'm going to get those out. I've been super busy taking care of the little one. In fact, if you hear anything during this video, it's him. He is in my lap currently as I am making this video. So, uh, hopefully I'm able to get those uh, done. I've been doing the banner preview videos just because they are super easy and quick to make. So, uh, but thank you so much for everyone who is still supporting the channel, still watching the videos, and... Uh, I thank you so much for supporting me, even though I am being very slow on uploads. But hopefully I can get a stream set up on my next off days, uh, upcoming on this Monday or Tuesday, for the Transcendent Battle and for some polls. Anyway, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it and take a look at the new units Suzu descending at ninja speed and Genus wise behind beyond his years. I'm super excited about this because Suzu, first of all, she's a new dagger unit. Second of all, she's a new character that's being added so that we can get affinity points from her instead of it being another um what do we call it? Uh version of the previous character so i'm really excited about that so let's get into it let's take a look at it if this banner is going to be starting monday november 15th at 2 a.m so hopefully i will be able to get um the stream set up for monday or tuesday and do some polls for Suzu along with the Transcendent Battle and some ticket polls as well. So let's take a look here. We have Dark Dagger, 17,000 HP on the Memoria Stone, 1800 attack and 700 defense. It's very high on HP, decent attack and decent defense there. Memoria skills invigorate 6 dark, so the oil gauge of dark allies increased by 27 each turn. So... We just had the Tilkis uh, stone just now with this new event that is also an OL battery stone. So I don't know if this one is really going to be worth it since we just got one that does 21 each turn, I believe. Um, but it's a pretty good stone for people who really like the OL battery. It's going to be good for that. But let's take a look at Suzu, the character. Really cool art, really cool splash art love it enjoy it um 48,000 hp 3600 attack 4200 defense likely a hit gen character or some other sort of buffer to debuffer with those stats uh, awakening skill is unswayed by emotion plus 20 percent to attack to dark allies at 20 hits and plus 30 to the ol gauge of dark allies when arts used so she's got the a little bit of attack buff with hit gen as well as a OL battery uh, when using arts. So that's going to be very good for just being able to get off things like Jester Zellos Heal um, or your Barbados uh, Mystic Art or just uh, the, uh, what's it, Arietta Mystic Art. You know, anyone who has a decently low cooldown on their or over limit gauge or a very long over limit gauge is going to help them a lot for spam of their mystic art which is really nice for dark units they needed something like that so let's take a look at here we got mystic arts is summon jiraiya 90 percent attack 20 hits to all enemies at 180 over limit 
So you can potentially actually use that just about every two turns, really, when she is max awakened. So that's going to be really nice, and it does 20 hits to all enemies. So in Arena and in other quests that have four enemies, you're going to be able to get lots of hits off of that. That's going to be 80 hits off of just off of that Mystic Art. So that's really nice. Um, art 1 is Merciless Thunder, 100% attack, 9 hits, 1 enemy on a 1 turn cooldown. And it casts Debilitate on 1 enemy for 2 turns. So you can constantly keep Debilitate on 1 enemy. And it does 9 hits. Um, and then Art 2 is Hell Rush, 80% attack, 14 hits to 1 enemy on a 1 turn cooldown. And it casts Curse on 1 enemy for 2 turns. So you can constantly keep Debilitate and Curse on your enemies. Just alternating between the two. And she can get um, up to uh, 94 hits in a turn. Uh, with her Mystic Art and Art 2 Hellrush. But that's really light, nice. Um, Debilitate and Curse are very strong in the meta right now. So Suzu is going to be very, very good. Very strong. I'm looking forward to this. And again, just being able to alternate between Art 1 and Art 2 every single turn. Just constantly be putting Debilitate and Curse. Just Curse stacking. Debilitate. Uh, you can't stack, really. But you can just keep applying them. And just keep them constantly on, this en on the enemies. And that's really nice. That's going to be good for Arena. Um, if you need to focus a single target down. You can hit that debilitate if you want to take a target down like the next turn you can hit that curse it's going to be very nice um for just about anything that does not resist debilitate or curse so uh won't be much use in phantom tower won't be much use for some of the recent battles but sometimes when they allow you to curse things like on the new the light evil raid that we got going on right now with the uh, Tilkis event, they uh, you can curse that evil raid, so she'd be very useful for that as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm extremely looking forward to this. Definitely going to be pulling for Suzu. Do I think you all should pull for Suzu? I think you should pull for Suzu. She's going to be very good in the meta, um, being able to constantly be applying debilitate curse, and all with the hitch in on her Mystic Art. Gonna be very, very good. I, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so let's take a look at Genus. Not super excited for Genus. We already had an SR version, so we're getting an upgraded SSR version. Um, so we'll see what if they kept his kit more or less the same, uh, like they usually do when they upgrade the SR to SSR. Um, but we'll have to see here and. I'm not super excited for him because we can already gain affinity points, which is what mostly what I need for my account is affinity point gain. Well, let's take a look here. Genus is Water Arts, 5,000 HP, 2,200 attack, and 1,500 defense. Possibly maybe an attack character because his Memoria skill is Torment 6 Water, crit damage plus 135% to water allies. So it may possibly be a, a, a DPS character instead of more of a support character like his SR version. So let's take a look at what we got here. 42,000 HP, 5,160 attack, and 3,120 defense. Definitely a DPS character. I wonder if he still has the defense up art barrier or not. Um, but let's take a look. We got skill. His awakening skills keep working on it. Plus 15% attack to water allies. And plus 100% attack to water allies at 60 hits. Okay, so the 115% attack total from his awakening skill once you hit 60 hits. That's very strong, very good. I'm interested to see what we got going on here. His mystic art is indignant judgment. 270% attack, 6 hits to all enemies. So a decent amount of hit gen. You're going to be getting 24 hit gen from that. It's a 270 over limit. Okay, so he still does have the defense up. Let's take a look at that one. Art 2 force field is 330 defense up to one ally for three turns. It's on a five turn cooldown. 
That is extremely strong. My word. Um, 250% attack to Water Edge, Aqua Edge. Four hits, one enemy on a three turn cooldown, and it casts a spell on one enemy for three turns, so you can constantly keep that dispel applied. Um, wow, so that's actually very good and strong. You are going to need a good hit gen unit along with him um, to get that 100% attack to water allies. Um, but there is one very good uh, hit gen called Black Saray uh, for water teams. Who does 80 hits with his one awaken with his um memoria uh, pff, what's it called? mystic art there we go so black saray with the mystic art does 80 hits so you can actually get that 100 percent attack to water allies very easily with genus and then um do some pretty decent damage um he's got a aoe mystic art that has decent damage scaling 270 percent attack is actually pretty good um and that defense up if you have someone that's very very squishy on your water team um you can easily keep them alive with genus so that's gonna be very good um but yeah that's Genus is actually very good, uh, decent damage scaling, pretty good attack. He's not as much of a DPS as I thought he was going to be from his attack stat and from his awakening skill, but he's got pretty good damage scaling, pretty decent DPS. He has Dispel and that huge force field defense up is going to be very useful for people who have trouble surviving um have trouble getting some units to survive like one shot hits and things like that so genus very strong very good i think he is definitely worth pulling for if you do not have a dispel unit if you don't have a uh, standard miklio on your water team definitely pull for genus um he's going to be very useful for you for that dispel dispel is also also just generally a very useful um stat on any unit so any unit that comes out with dispel i think they are 100 worth pulling for so this banner is very good very strong could be somewhat of a bait banner since we're coming up on half anniversary in like two months but you know, I think it's a very good banner, very strong to pull forward on Suzu and Genus. 100% think everyone should be pulling on this banner. And whether you get Suzu or Genus, it's going to be very good. So I'm going to be pulling on this banner definitely just because I want Suzu for affinity. And I think she's very good for a dark team. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully be able to pull her um, on stream on monday or tuesday so take a look keep looking out for that guys thank you so much for supporting the channel and if you do enjoy this content remember to leave a like and subscribe and thank you so much and have a great day everyone